Hello, this is Scott. So let's look quickly at some options creating a 3D bivariate histogram in Data Science Workbench, i.e. Statistica. So let me just open up a samples uh, file, open examples. I'm just going to grab a data set out of here. Uh, let me just grab the 30 predictors of yield. Um, and so this is yield data on certain process parameters. So this is for illustration only. But if I were going to do like a 3D histogram, there are a couple things that I want to show you. So if I'm doing a bivariate histogram, I can pull it down off of here. Of course, I could put it in a workspace as well. But um, just to show you this, this will be easy. I'm going to say yield and this parameter 3, so are the X and Y. And then um, in here, I can select these. We're going to come back to these in just a second, the different options. But one thing I want to show you real quick is the difference of using the interactive panel versus interacting with the chart. All right, so this is the, the graphic itself. If I want to interact solely with this, this chart, I can double click on here and I get this graph options, right? So if, for example, I want to add statistics, uh, and I want to add total count and chi-square. What's going to watch? What happens to this plot here when I close and then click OK and OK there? OK. Where in the total count up here? If I were to take that off, I could. What I could do is uh, go in to plot histogram statistics uncheck those boxes and then it will disappear here once I do that. All right, so that is interacting with this one chart, right? Making changes to a chart after it's happened. If I, since I have the analysis panel up, what I could do is I could also do that right here. So if I were to click under statistics, total count and chi-square, click OK, what happens is it produced a new, a new, um, graphic right so i've got a new graph and then the statistics are placed down here and you have control over where you place those and also do obviously a lot of other things within the, the platform um, different naming energy mode etc and you can click on the, the uh, question mark and you can look through uh, for some of the examples there so Hopefully that was meaningful and you will join me again soon. Thanks.